Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Today I'd like to talk about advertising, um, especially because I had a few comments underneath some of my videos in the comment sections about advertising and there were some questions about if I'm running any ads. Now I personally haven't run a single ad on any of the free print-on-demand marketplaces yet. So since my beginning of my journey in November 2020, I haven't run any Facebook ads or any ads anywhere um, on about Spreadshirt, Zazzle, Society6, Fine Art America, Redbubble, Amazon Merch. I haven't run any ads. I don't know a lot about ads anyway. I know you can run them on Facebook, uh, but that's pretty much it. I haven't really looked into this whole topic. Especially because there was, well, there was one comment um, last on one of the last videos where the person said that you need to run ads to be successful. Now, I don't necessarily know if that's really the case because I know a lot of people who are successful in print on demand who are not running any ads. And also I, and you can see here, my spreadsheet business has been growing without running any ads. And, you know, it, it's not massive money that I'm making, but I really only started a few months ago and every online business um, normally and any business in general takes some time to grow anyway and the good thing on print on demand which is why I love print on demand is because you can use these organic marketplaces and these marketplaces either they do the marketing for you or well at least they bring the traffic to the websites so you don't need to do advertising what is very important obviously is doing the research and um, to know which niches you go into and you need to decide if you do trends or evergreens and if you do evergreens then yeah i mean then you need to probably uh, understand that you might have less sales but you will have more consistent sales potentially but it all depends on your design and it, it really very much depends on you as a, as a designer on your personal approach and what you want to achieve now you can run ads and I think you probably have to run ads if you do something like Shopify, where you have a Shopify store, which doesn't necessarily bring a lot of um, traffic in and where you have to make sure that you actually bring the traffic to the shop. Um, so I believe then you have to run ads, but I haven't got a Shopify store, at least not yet. Maybe I will look into this um, further down the road, but at the moment I'm not doing that. The only place where I really have run ads and it was bit of a rubbish experience that was on Etsy where I have run Etsy ads on the Etsy platform but that isn't really advertising I think all Etsy do is to highlight your um, to highlight your listing at the top of the first page so it's really just like a it's really just like a promotion it's not really like running advertising on any other marketplace or platform like on Facebook um, and it wasn't great. I had a few more sales through that and I had also a few more people coming to my shop and um, I received a few more favorites. So I think in the end it was worth it because after I stopped ads, I had some really good sales. Not many, but I increased, I basically didn't run any discount and I had some sales where I made over $20 from one single t-shirt a few times. So where I would have to sell like four or five shirts on Spreadshirt to get the same profit, I got away with just selling one, for example, on Etsy. And I did that a few times, and I believe it was related to the advertising because it happened just after I stopped it and it happened um, and people bought it who have previously favorited my shop or that particular design. Um, and as you can see here, Spreadshirt, I mean, I've got a similar picture on other websites, whereas Spreadshirt is my best platform at the moment. Um, even a little bit ahead of Amazon Merch, I must say, especially if you take the US and the UK marketplace together. Um, but yeah, for, for these websites, you don't really need to do um, ads. I know you can run them, and you pr probably you might actually you might actually succeed. You might be able to get some additional sales, but you know you need to be lucky as well. I think you need to know what you're doing, and I think if you're just starting on print on demand, you don't need to bother you don't you know because you need you're still learning so i wouldn't spend any money on ads until you make enough profit from your print on demand income to be able to then reinvest that maybe into ads you know if you have some best selling designs why not push them further but i haven't done that yet and the only expenses really that i have in print on demand are for some basic subscriptions that you pre pretty much need to have if you want to run um, in print on demand and if you want to be successful so, you know, you need to put 
and that's what everybody says in print on demand but that's when you build any business you need to have you need to put the effort in you need to put the time in when you can only do that if you're convinced that a business is working and that a business model actually works um, you don't need to necessarily spend any money in print on demand just minor um, yeah maybe minor expenses for subscriptions but potentially you have them these already and if not you know the only ones that I really pay for they are vexels because I love their designs and you can scale them out and you can use them then I use flying upload which is my automated upload tool which you could say you know, if you're not using an automated upload tool, maybe then you could consider ads because you need, you have probably less designs to upload and um, you need to then um, sort of make people aware of your designs more. But if you use an automated upload and you, if you have a lot of designs available, then because you have so many designs on different marketplaces, chances are higher that you make sales. So I, I pretty much sometimes see that actually as a replacement for advertising. But then again, I haven't I haven't had run any ads. So I don't I don't really know too much um, how they work. At least not yet. I'm sure I will look into this in the future. Um, and then yeah, and then Canva, which is um, I use Canva Pro, so I can design and then download images with a transparent background. And the only other one that I'm pretty much using is Creative Fabrica, because they have so many designs and fonts, which I then again use in 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 uh, Canva, for example, to create designs and. You know, there are a few other tools that I use, but I think these are the basic ones. And these are pretty much the only expenses. And I use them for other stuff as well, not only for print on demand. So some of these, like Canva, I would have anyway, some subscriptions. And um, again, just to summarize, I don't believe that you need to spend money on ads to be successful in print on demand. I think it's much more important to be consistent, upload consistently, create good designs, maybe have an upload tool that will make, you know, that saves you more time so you can focus more on designing. And the key, I think, the, the real key to being successful in print on demand, if you have the privilege that you have been accepted, is to get an account on Amazon Merch and to work hard to tear that up. Because if you don't do that, chances are maybe in a couple of years where Merch has been growing and maybe they have, you know, they are so far ahead um, compared to other print-on-demand platforms, if you're not on there, you might have it much harder to succeed. So that is why I believe Amazon Merch, focus on that, maybe even spend some money to get you out of the, the lower tiers um, faster. So if you like tier 10, you might want to consider buying a few shirts yourself so that you can tier up and then have some more, um, which then might reduce the time that you can tier up. But besides that, you don't need to run any ads. You don't need to spend any money. And I think that is the beauty of print on demand. It's a very low risk business. And um, because there is no real expenditure or major investment required, like with every business, you have expenses, but you don't have to have major investment in the beginning, like you would have with FBA, for example. So hopefully um, you liked the video. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope I can see you in the next video. Bye.